Word up, wonderful people. Welcome to Platform 32. My name's Ian Higton, and if you liked the song that you just heard before the stream started there, you should definitely go to sixnationstate.com because there are links to listen to that and the rest of the songs what Six Nation State have done, uh, including their brand new long lost second album, which was released a week or so ago. Uh, that's, that's, you can buy them on the iTunes, or you can listen to them for free on the Spotify's. Um, it's it's e any way uh, you want to put that lovely music into your ear holes. It's it's up to you, but it'll they will make you feel happy either way. Uh, welcome to uh, my stream. I'm here on a Monday. I don't stream on Mondays too often, but I thought, well, I gotta I gotta do a stream. Uh, today, because I got sent two brand new Evercade carts, uh, which I will be streaming an hour of each for your entertainment today. These carts, I think, are due out at the end of March, so I've got a uh, a little bit of a, a sneak peek at them. Uh, but from uh, fr from what I've seen, I've not played them yet. But from from what I what I've seen of what is in them because of what's on my back. They look like they're going to be two absolute corkers. We've got some great, great choices here. Uh, I I'm, I'm think I'm most excited to try out uh, the renovation projects one. Hold on. Here we go. We'll put it, put it up a little bit bigger. So you've got the Gremlin cart here, the Gremlin collection, which has Zool on the front, who uh, I remember playing Zool on the Amiga. There's a few go. There's six games on this one. Um, I think some of them are 32 bit, so we should should see some fancy 3D graphics. And I'm also going to be doing the renovation collection, which has two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve games on. And uh, I've played none of them, but they do sound a lot and sound very cool indeed. So uh, yeah, I'm going to start off with the Gremlin cart. And uh, I think I'm going to kick off with a bit of Zool, you know, because uh, it's been a while since I've played Zool. Now, I'm playing this using the Evercade Versus today, and not the Evercade Handheld. I have both. I don't know if I've ever told you, but that's the cart gone in. And here we can see uh, we've got Actua Soccer. We've got Brain Bender. We've got Hardcore 44. We've got Premier Manager 97. We've got Utopia, the creation of a nation. And we've got Zool as well. Now, I'm probably going to skip over Premier Manager 97. Not going to lie. But I'll have a look at all the others. Um, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not really Premier premier manager kind of person really uh, you know you know me you know me uh, so let's kick things off with Zool as is normal with these Evercade cut um, streams because it's loads of different games the audio levels fluctuate sometimes it might be too loud too quiet just keep shouting at me in the comments and I'll see it and I'll see it um, after a while and uh, adjust the audio settings. But I'll try and keep an eye on it as well. <clears throat> Zool is not an ant. He's the guardian of the nth dimension, the protector of creative thought and defender of positive action. Collect the objects scattered across seven worlds and pursue the evil Krul as he attempts to uh, uh, deprive the universe of its imagination. Oh my god. Uh, you can punch on the ground, spin in the air. You can jump, you can fire. Move Zool. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Just like um, other Evercade carts, uh, this has uh, a quite a nice instruction booklet in it. Okay, that looks like that might be quite loud. Hope that's okay. I'm going to presume this isn't the Amiga version they ported. Probably the Mega Drive by the sounds of the um, the audio. Kersplapped! 
like a slap hat. <laughs> glug, glug, glug. This must be the work of Cruel. So press start to play or press A for options. No little stickers or anything in this box. Disappointing. I just want to see, I'm pretty sure there was some kind of spelling mistake in this in this age old game. Whoosh. Yeah, Kuslapat. I, I presume that's supposed to be Kusplat. I missed that the first time around. bit better now. I can bring it down a bit more. There we go. Pour it down. Pour it down a bit more. Grr! All right, so I'm going to press cursor slapat on the A button just to see what the uh, options are. Wait. Press A for options. Oh, yeah, it is the Mega Drive. Uh, normal difficulty. Music on continues. Sound so you can... You can test all the sounds and stuff. Standard. So let's get going. So yeah, um, Coda Blair says I've never heard of this before. Coda Blair, you're quite young now, I believe. This is... Uh, I used to play this back in the 90s uh, on the Amiga. It's basically when everyone was trying to be... Uh, trying to copy Sonic the Hedgehog. That uh, Zool was one of many characters that were like created to try and become system system selling mascots like Mario or Sonic. We had I remember Cool Spot was one of them. Bubsy the Bobcat. Uh, got some pretty intense old school parallax scrolling there in the background. And of course this game famously sponsored by Chopper Chops the lolly. So we got out. Oh, whoops. We got lots of sweets in the background, um, as well as um, chop chops lollies every so often. Controls wise, it's feel pre it feels pretty good on the old Evercade controller. Can I do something with this button? It says hit. Oh, I've hit it. I don't know what that's done. I, I spent such a long time since I played this. I didn't actually um, own this game. Uh, I used to play this around Deli's house. Uh, if you don't know who Deli is, he's one of my friends who I play PUBG with on the streams on the weekends. Well, on the Fridays even. Is that a poo with spikes on it? I don't think I can pop the poo with spikes on it. I like that you can crawl up the walls. It's pretty tricky. Um, Everything's quite fast-paced movement. My brain's running quite slow at the moment, so... Is that a... evil... licorice all sort? It's like that Doctor Who episode with Sylvester McCoy, where he goes to the evil sweet planet. Uh, come on. I want to go on this... What is it, like a cinnamon log or something? Oh! Oh, I just got killed by a jelly top. Sweets! I, <laughs> how can you do this to me, sweets? I love you! There we go. Oh, I just got a massive, gigantic sweet then. Is that health? I think that was. Can I hit that as well? Yeah, I literally don't know what hitting these things do. But I'm going to try and hit as many as I can. It's got shoes on. At least it's not walking around barefoot. That would be pretty gross if a licorice all sort was walking around with its manky toes out. I don't mind licorice all sorts. I'll take some over. Like I like the, I like the ones with um, little blue dots on. I like the pink ones. Not too, f not too much of a fan of the just straight licorice tubes, though. This is both bringing back lots of memories and also making me think, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> Alfred the Chicken, yeah, I remember Alfred the Chicken, Nightcap. 
Level 1, 2, get ready. That's definitely a Mega Drive sample of the bass, that is. Hey, Cleaver Slips, how's it going, dude? Look at that speedy ninja. Sucking up all the sweeties. Yum, 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 yum. Give me them treaties. Ow. Okay, oh. I got hit by a bee again. Boo, bees. Oh, look. These are little uh, Raleigh platforms. Oh, God, these bees are hard to hit. So, I, um... I don't remember much about this game past the Sweetie levels. Whether that's because it just wasn't good enough to get past them, or whether they're, it, they're all Sweetie levels, I literally don't know. I presume they'd have stuck quite heavily with the uh, the Sweetie theme, considering the the chopper. I got a twin. Considering the uh, the chopper chops, uh, you know, branding. But it might be like things like Cool Spot and stuff that have, you know, themed levels. Actually, maybe. Do you know what? Do you know what I'll do? I'm going to consult the Evercade cartridges manual and see if uh, there are any excellent tips. Tip! The difficulty level determines how many items you'll need to collect on each stage and how much time you have. I've got time! Oh, God. Okay. All right, so that kind of makes sense. To uh, uh, finish a level, you have to collect a certain amount of things and do it within a certain amount of time. Oh, those jelly babies are kind of creepy. <laughs> Ooh, one up. Yes, please. One up. I believe this game came out first on the Amiga and then was ported to home consoles. I could be wrong. This game has always felt like an Amiga game to me. Oh, I just crawled down that wall and... Oh, it's a checkpoint. They're checkpoints. I crawled down that wall and just gently placed my bottom right onto the head of that sweetie and it absolutely did me in. I like that you can slide down the slopes. Excuse me, Spiky Poo. Whoa, what the hell is that? Is that Grimace from McDonald's? I definitely wouldn't eat a jelly tilt that looked like that. Looks like a jelly tilt that's come out the other end. Oh, sweeties! Okay. It's got my sweeties going now. I, um... Did a bit of, uh, comfort eating over the weekend, because I've not been too, uh... Too hot. And, um... I ate a massive frickin' pick and mix. It was awesome. <laughs> come on. Hit it. Hit it. There we go. I got it. That's checkpoint done. Ah! The bees! Wait, okay, so I think the middle bars are my health and I have one health left. Oh, okay, I've got two zools. Oh, crikey. Okay, maybe I do have another hit left. Do 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 Ding, ding, ding. So with these streams, I normally do an hour uh, on each cart. So I'll, I'll take a quick look at as many games as I can on each cart. Uh, so that means if you're looking forward to seeing the renovation cart, uh, that will be at 7 p.m., which is in 45 minutes' time. I'm having, uh, I'm having, a, I'm having quite a lot of fun with Zool. I'm making it probably making it look harder than it actually is, uh, but. Um, uh, no, it's good fun. <coughs> okay, more chocolate! Oh, kill for uh, a Zombies Ate My Neighbours again, says the Choir Boy Marks. I've still got that on, uh, like, whoa. Oh, hello, this, this level is... Oh, look at that! Biggest sweet ever. I love those jazzies, I think they're called. The, like, white chocolate discs with hundreds and thousands on them. Banging. Uh, yeah, I've still got the original cart of uh, Zombies at My Neighbours whenever I play my Super Nintendo. That normally gets gets a show in. Okay. 
Whoa. Hey, thanks for Super Chat DCC. It hasn't come up on my... Oh, I hope you're feeling better since DCC. I'm feeling a lot better, thanks. I'm, uh, I'm still... Uh, you can probably tell I'm still not 100%, but... Um, oh, I died. <coughs> but yeah, it's a lot better now, thank you. doodle doo So, bottom right there, that must be life. I've got four lives, I think. That'd be time. I don't know what C is. Maybe that's the amount of candy? Do they call it candy? Yeah, okay, so it's... It's, uh... So I've got a certain amount of candy. I have to collect in order to clear the level. Do, 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 do. What was the um? Uh, what's the cart I played last? Is it Galico? Last one I did the Galico cart. I um. I completed most of those now, the Galico card games. Like alligator hunt and stuff. Thank thanks to the uh, the the ability to quick save, I got through um, most of those games pretty quickly. It was it was quite cool playing laser weird games that I'd never even heard of before. Um, yeah, I was a, a big fan of the Galico one. Ooh, oh oh that, that bomb sounded more like a fart than a bomb. Was coming, it was coming right for me. Okay, I've got need six pieces of ouch candy if I want to be able to clear this level. Okay, so you can you can smoosh things by jumping on their heads. Oh, there's another checkpoint. Okay, it's made the noise, which means I've got enough candy to clear the level. Ow! And then I got vaporized by a jelly top. Thankfully, only just recently did a checkpoint, which is nice. Oh, there's another one. Is it a chest? What is it? Oh, well, that looks like um, cross-stitch or something. I have no idea what that is, but I want to put one in my mouth. I say that about a lot of things, not just sweets. Ow! Boo! Bees! Fart bombs, not smart bombs. <laughs> This nightcap. <laughs> hey, Fabian. Oh, oh, this chocolate fountain rivers. Oh, a little flake floating on it. As well. At least I hope it's a flake. Okay, but right there. No. I thought maybe there'd be a little uh, way to jump over the top. You get them sometimes in these platform games. Oh, there you go. I landed on it. Completed the level. That's three levels down. Three levels down, 20 minutes into the stream. <coughs> uh, do I want to play another level? I kind of I want to see if I can reach... I, I honestly have forgotten so much about this game. Like, Is there, a, is there a, like a giant sweetie boss? We can fire low as well. Is there, um... Because I'm on 1-4 at the moment, so... I'm hoping at the end of this level, there'll be at least a boss or it'll go to 2-4. I feel like I'm on a journey of discovery. Up! Oh! oh, there's another one of those giant sweets. Oh, oh my gosh. Huh. Huh. There we go. Into the... Onto the, uh, the chocolate river. Look at me! I'm sailing on a poo canoe! Toot toot! All aboard the Poo Canoe Express! Still need 12 pieces of candy. Oh, there's a. Um... Come on! Got it. I got it. Oh, let's. Had a... What? Nothing up there. Oh, I've reached that. Oh, crikey. I've reached the end of the level. Maybe it's. 
it's more vertical than I'd imagine. Oh. Doesn't look like it can slide down and kick things in the head. Oh, there's another. Okay, checkpoint. Hey! So if I get one more. Ouch. Okay, one more bit of candy. Now if I run back this way, will the. Will the exit have spawned up here, I wonder? Maybe I have to go right to the top. Oh, I can't jump in the chocolate. Okay. No idea where the ending is. It's going to bounce as far as I can go. Oh, yeah, it's pretty vertical. This is one that I definitely don't want to fall down. All aboard the Pookadoo! There's another checkpoint. Let's get that. Ah, here we go. There is a boss fight. It's a bee with licorice all sorts for wings. Oh, and it absolutely clattered me. Oh, game over. Do I get a continue? Oh, butts. I've got to put the... <laughs> Pukanu is going to be a password for customs at some point, isn't it? Says 8 Bit Kit. If you remember me, if you remind me, uh, it will be, yeah. Uh, so that's all. That is good fun. Um, it, you know, if you like old school 90s platformers, uh, you'll have a good time with that. It seems like good fun. I just kind of wish I'd remembered to put on the continues now. Ooh, you know, I could probably make myself a bit louder, can I? <coughs> I think I might be a bit quiet. I turned myself down a bit. I did a pre-record of a a game. Uh, Aoife and I are going to a, a press event on Thursday, so I've recorded a like a quite a long, like it's almost like a live stream length let's play of something for Thursday. Uh, and uh, normally when I do that, I turn my voice down a bit so I can add some filters in the edit. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Oh, one thing I noticed, right, with this, there has been an update for this. And um, uh, the update added a reset function, which is something that I <laughs> suggested during a live stream um, of an Evercade in the past. So instead of having to, if you wanted to restart the game completely, instead of having to go back to the main menu and pick the game again, you can now reset it. From the beginning. So that really should, that button there should say reset and then in brackets, courtesy of Ian Higton, close brackets. It doesn't. Um, maybe uh, Evercade, if you're watching, you could add that in the next update. Oh, that'd be very nice, thanks. Um, so yes, these, um, by the way, this is the Gremlin collection. Uh, it's not the Gremlin collection. And it's not the Gremlin connection because it's all games featuring Gremlins. Uh, this is uh, these are games released by the Sheffield-based software house Gremlin Graphics, who got their start in the 1980s programming video games for the popular 8-bit home computers of the period, with a variety of sex successful releases to their name. In 1994, they changed the name to Gremlin Interactive and decided to concentrate on the 16-bit home computer and console market. So this is a UK-based development studio. Uh, Ra Ian Set says Nightcat. Yes, there we go. It doesn't say that, but we know Ian. We know, says Claire T-Rex. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know what event you're talking about on Thursday, Nightcat. No idea. <laughs> uh, right. Well... What are we doing? We're going to check out another game on this. Uh, actual Soccer. Now, I won't spend too long with Actual Soccer, but I do quite like checking out the 32-bit games that they get to squeeze on these carts. Uh, these normally are ports from PlayStation games, by the looks of things. This one is. Uh, and it's just... Um, it's quite cool to see, like... The comparison between like an Intellivision cart where you get to see the birth of video games through to um, something like this where we're seeing, you know, games that were on CD-ROM.
But I am so not into football games. So uh, go 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 go. Look at that nice little uh, ni nice little intro there. Quite like that. I played Duel on the Amiga. Says MC three four nine eight. Aye, aye, aye. Me too. I had this. It's not pretty. Says Eight Bit Kit. Well, let's see how it play video. What's that? The making of. Holy shit! Basically, I'm writing the and designing the logic and the game intelligence. Uh, that part of the game will involve uh, user control, so the user can make the game playable. Uh, Whoa! Look, it's, it's all poster in the background. Uh, whip, join the animation together and make the actions flow. Into this the is a treat. Beforehand, I won't watch the whole of this. Sprites, but now we've got motion capture. I will off stream. But is recording look at that sleeveless T-shirt. So a computer Paul. can animate figures using real movement. And lovely and arms out. Artificial animation. A person doing the motion capture. I have mo -cap, early days mocap. Oh, this is so cool. Do their movements inside an area. Oh, this is a right little, six cameras. little so treasure cameras chest. The images of the markers, and then the computer converts that into three-dimensional movement. That's so cool. It gives it a very much more realistic edge. <laughs> you can really picture the person who originally did the moves. It looks like real footballers. Does make it a lot more technically complicated, though. Continuity, particularly, we have to use Well, let's see if it does look like real football as Laurent Knoll. Because uh, we're going to be going and checking it out. This was the first 3D soccer game, says Cleaver Snips. Nice. Does it say that in here? We've got uh, the little tips. Do we have a tip? Want a superstar player to add to your squad? Hold select and push up and left on the title screen and then say hello to crossy okay hold select and push up and left on the title screen i don't know if that did anything okay let's just do a friendly no friendly oh no way friendly Players one. Start. Okay. Controls. What are the controls? Shoot. Pass. Speed burst nearest. Oh, I'm never, never going to remember that. It's more than one thing. Uh, not today. Uh. Let's go. Can I change the venue? Don't look like I can change the venue. Oh, I can change the venue by changing the um, first team. Is there a UK anywhere? England, that'll do. That'll do. I thought that. All, I don't know what was going on with the music then. That someone was singing something. <clears throat> I think they might have to uh, do a bit of work with the forks because there's still uh, water on the pitch. Amazing sampled speech. Here we go. I'm doing a. Kick off, am I? Is this me? Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, shit. Okay, I got it. Oh, no, I nicked it. Give me. Yeah, absolutely battered him. I don't know the button for kick. Oh, that was passed. Oh. I'm the best of football. Alan Shearer. Was, <laughs> there was an advert for Cadbury's Boost as well. That's pretty decent. Runs really nicely. Like I said, I'm not a fan of football games, but if you are a fan of football games, um, you know, this it runs smoothly. The controls are nice and tight. It's got like that kind of like cool retro... Vibe oh, here we are! Ashley Cole, maybe? Andy Cole? Arthur Cole, one of them. And that makes 
makes it 2 0. There we go. I'm very good at this game. Who knew? It's not a friendly. It's a murder. Uh, yeah. Not bad. Like, if you are playing this on the versus console, I presume you can do. That was a cool curvy ball. I presume you can like do two players. Uh, one like. I'll um. I'll have a look in a second. I'm absolutely uh. Smashing them. Come back here, you. Oh. No. Yas. Yeah. Zom, 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 so, so I'm taking it all the way. F you is Paul Gascoigne. Would you believe it? I'm absolutely wiping the floor. Imagine if Ian was going for the wrong goal, says Coda Blair. It's happened. L2 and R2 will change your camera. Ooh. Ooh. Good passing movement. Look at this. Cheers, Sean. Oh, well now it's sensible soccer. Oh, look at that. There's loads of different camera views. Far camera. Gas going. Was it, was it, I think you undersold this to me. It was the EA wanted to. It said they didn't. Was wasn't pretty. Was, whoops. That shot wasn't pretty. Touchline camera, isometric, so many different camera angles. Let me just uh, let's go reset. Just obviously, I've got no friends, but I just want to see. I presume if you have a versus and you wanted to, I mean, there have been people that played this game the most back in the day in their 90s bedrooms and i could just imagine like people um you know they've got kids now they got a job don't get to don't get to mess around too much poor dave and then he's like oh i've got my evercade versus and copy of uh um Actual soccer. Do you want to come round, Terry? Relive the old days. And they put on some Ace of Base, and then sit there in the living room playing this. It's um, it's be a good way to like, you know, I have literally no nostalgic memories of this game. But the pitch, we should be in for a good contest. Um, you know. People will. This is there's a very sweetie theme going on here. Um, Ronaldo. Okay, so that's so look crunchy. Timeout. There's Gremlin, and then yeah, so two controllers, two players sitting there on the couch, reliving the good old days um, of playing actual soccer. So that's pretty sweet. Right. I quite I'm quite impressed with that one. That was uh that was that was cool. I like that. Uh so let's quit and So Brainbender is um looking on the back of the box. This one's going to be interesting because I think this might have been a Game Boy game. Um, this is 1991, a puzzle game. A mu you have to bounce laser beams around mirrors. And that's quite a crazy juxtaposition that you have. Yeah, you have a Game Boy game on the same cart as you have like a PlayStation 1 game. So I think that's kind of cool. <clears throat> this is designed by Gremlin. Uh, I am indeed British. Okay. Music. What am I doing? Select level. I guess we'll just start on level one. Not check the controls for this. 
How's the audio? That probably needs to come down a bit again, does it? A bit chip tuney, beep bops. Okay, so what are we doing? We are. Oh, okay. It is a. It's kind of like a standard. Like mirror lay. Oh, ran out of time. Oh. I think I think you lose time if your um if your laser points back at you. Not enough points for a restart. Wow. Um yeah, you know those kind of like bouncing light puzzles that you get in Tomb Raiders and Uncharted and things. Uh B toggles keys. Is that oh no, that wasn't B. Okay, can I Okay, so I can... That's good to know. I can angle these in different directions. Oh, so that was... Yeah, so that shot back. So this one... I want to move this one straight away. So that it doesn't bounce it back. And destroy my time. I'm... I still have my original Game Boy, but it's quite old now and rickety and the screen's hard to see and some of the like the pixels are dyed in it. So I kind of want to, I want to at some point when I've got a bit of spare time on my hands, try and um, mod it, put a backlight in it and change the screen and stuff. I've seen lots of people do it on YouTube and stuff. You can pay to have it done, but it's kind of fun to do that kind of stuff by yourself. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, this one's... This, uh, not too much going on with this one. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a... bouncy, flouncy... laser... laser game. And it seems pretty good. Not one... Uh, I win. How do you win this one? Do you have to... Smash them both. Yeah, it's not not one that I'd probably uh, spend a lot of time on um, myself, but pretty decent uh, if you enjoy basic puzzle games. It's made in nineteen. So that was made in nineteen ninety one. When was actual soccer made? Nineteen ninety five. So four years difference, but obviously. A lot of power in the PlayStation 1 compared to the Game Boy. Uh, now, this one is the one I wanted to check out the most because this one uh, looks really cool. I've only seen static screenshots of it, but the static screenshots of it look great. So, steering, change view. There's a horn button. That's good to know. Handbrake, accelerate, double tap for nitro. Downshift, upshift. That's a lot to remember again. <laughs> Xbox Rift has said, I've played this hacking mini game. Okay. This one, again, I think uh, it's looking... It's looking like a PlayStation port. Oh! That... That was the Doom door noise. That was the... Uh, that was... Um, Taken from an audio library that everyone had access to in the 90s, I think. Even... I'm pretty sure that... Maybe I'll turn it up a bit for you. That's... That's the Doom... Menu noise, right? When you're, like, flicking between things. Which one's highlight? Is that okay? Well, options. <laughs> why is there a gun, why is there gunfire on the soundtrack of this four x four game? Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm just I don't know what any of this shit means. Select race car. Okay, memory card. Oh my god, I played this game. Says the choir boy Max. That did it again. That's definitely the Doom door opening noise. 
Uh, is there any tips for this? This is a really big um, instruction booklet, and most of it is for Utopia. Uh, tips. Switch into low gear when climbing up. Steep to... Stop interrupting me! Uh, okay, shit. Let's just let's just see what happens. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, this this is cool. I like this. This reminds me of Stunt Race FX, but uh, on the um, Super Nintendo, but it doesn't run at two frames per second. So I put it into a higher gear, I think. Let's put it down. So got tr oh. oh, there's the horn button. Wow, where, where are they? Where is this landscape meant to be? Oh. I don't know. It's not exactly intuitive of where the, the track is. I'm first, so I couldn't have messed it up too much. So far, whoops, he says. Hey, there's a no Sunday drive. This is, very, an, um, this is a very American feeling... Uh, shit! This is a very American feeling game for something that was made in uh, Sheffield. But I presume they... Get out of my... Get out of Mike Biscuit's way! Uh, I presume they did this to, you know... Sell to the uh, American audience. Bigger. Fucking hell. Bigger market over that way. Okay, I'm back in first position. I haven't really used the uh, handbrake yet. I'll try using the handbrake. Oh, no, that just stopped me. Lap two of three. I like the cheese rock soundtrack. Am I going to get penalised for damage? Ah, penal. Because I've definitely done some damage. What, again, to the front of my car. I don't think the front of my car exists at this point. Shite! No! Ah, fuck. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, piss. Oh, I've absolutely fucked that up now. I, was I couldn't find reverse. I thought it was hold down on the downshift button, but it wasn't doing it for me. i got to try the nitro boost in a sec. I just need to get to a straight area. Go for it. Go for, whoa, go for it. Wow, jeez. This is so bouncy. I can't. I don't seem to have a nitro boost. I can't believe I fought. I was doing so well. And then I screwed it up. Maybe I can catch up. I've got a final, one final lap to catch up. Bouncing all over the place. Good job this car's got some bitch in suspension. What if this has split screen multiplayer? Didn't really check the menu out too much. Go forest. That's a, what's your picture? Okay, I managed to muscle my way through to third position uh, at the cost of my front bumper. Come on, yep, there we go. That's that bridge causes me problems every time. As does steering and driving in a straight line. Second position is so close, but that's not going to help me crashing into that thing, that's for sure. Bouncy, bouncy. don't know how many tracks or anything are in this game, but... So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Whoa! Okay, I was third. That's still a podium. Maybe.
maybe. <laughs> that kind of loading screen is a bit rubbish. Bushmaster. Now, do I press X to proceed or triangle to proceed? I press triangle. Okay, so can we have two players? Is it a two player game? It would tell me in the instructions, I'm sure. Doesn't look like it's a two player game. Be good if you could have splits. Wait! Oh, it's one to eight players, but it's turn based. No, no split screen, unfortunately. <clears throat> hey, Molly uh, Siddiqui, hope I pronounced that right. Um, uh, glad you caught the live stream as well, and thank you very much. Uh, I'm feeling uh, better. Thank you. Uh, race class. Novice. Oh, yeah, no, definitely novice. Okay, here we go. How many tracks? Are oh, that's cool, look. Satellite view. Ground Zero Gulch. Devil's Kitchen. That's cool. Mercurial Forest. Hades Highway. Arctic Inferno. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six tracks in all. I think I'm going to have to do Hades Highway. Um. Pium. <laughs> Wait, what? Proceed. Oh, you bum. What did I do there? Okay, Hades Highway. So that's a ah, I need to have it on start race. That will do. It. Wait, select truck. Bushmaster, Dust Devil, Icebreaker, Sidewinder, Brimstone, Rock Hopper. I'm be the Rock Hopper. Really like the look of this game, uh, says Lee. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This one. It is pretty cool. All driving games are turn-based. It's how you go around corners, says Eric Franklin. Round of applause. That was excellent. I enjoyed that one. Beware of the lava! Oh, shit! Look at that! Broke-down houses. God, it's... It really is Hell's Highway here. We've got all these battered old houses. Bit too... Who would uh, build their houses on a volcano? This might actually look a bit dark for you lot. Um, it looks lighter on my screen, but I'm just look on my game screen. Uh, it looks lighter than what I can see on my streaming monitor. So just in case you're wondering if it's too dark to see. It is kind of dark, but... It's way lighter than um, might be coming out on the stream for you lot now. Go for it. Although at, the, at this point, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I'm just following the car in front. This is a tricky tracky. What time? Is oh, shit. Okay, well, that's enough of this game. Because I've got ten minutes left um, to show you... I guess Utopia. But I like this one. This is a cool racing game. This might be my favourite one on the um, on the cart so far. It's got a lot of personality. Looks good. Um, reminds me of Stunt Race FX. And uh, yeah, it's a shame it doesn't have split screen, but hey, oh, never mind. Okay, quick. Um, so yeah, that's Hardcore 4x4. I'll load up Premiere Manager very quickly, just so you can see um, what this is like, just in case you are a Premiere Manager fan. Actually, talking of Delhi. Deli used to love the Premier Manager games. And he's 
He used to go around his house and um, I'd just sit there and watch him play it and holy crap. It's boring to watch. <laughs> Please wait while the clubs prepare for the new season. It's as you'd expect from a game called Premier Manager. It is all about managing teams, buying players, digging pitches, and you know, upgrading uh, ours, upgrading your stadiums. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Help! What have I done? I've just done something. I've altered my thing. Ah, oh, shit. I don't want to... No, piss off. I want to see if I can get sponsored by Sweet... Hey! <laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen, but look at that. They've uh, they've patched it so you can be sponsored by Evercade, Sims Cola, Phil's Gym, Cross-Brand Sheep Pops, Cross-Brand Spray on Hair, Very good. Very good. What's that? Save? It's a load game, save game. Okay. What's this bit? This is Shearer. Oh, I don't know what that stuff means. I'm going to blow the whistle. Premier League. Your sub selections, of, sub selections are valid. Okay, cool. Doing a match. Next. Next. And I think this is, it just, there's no game. <laughs> it just randomizes the results almost. One, Portsmouth one, Norwich City nil. QPR one, Manchester City one. Reading zero, Ipswich Town one. I don't even know what team I was. Oh, oh, here we go. It's Rochdale versus Culture. Oh, yep. Whoa, thrilling. <laughs> More football in one hour than in the preceding 10 years of Platform 32, says 164 bits. I know, right? But yeah, definitely not my type of game. Uh, so let's have a look, quick look at Utopia before we move on to the renovation collections. Utopia, the creation of a nation. It's a strategy game. And I've been offered the job of colony, colony leader in the proposed colonization of the Omicron. <laughs> Too soon. Kappa planets orbiting the Rebus sun. You have ten planets to colonize. But be warned, it's highly likely that the Vaculo Federation will offer some resistance to your efforts. Okay. Switch between build, query, and bulldoze mode. On. So, again, I probably won't spend too long on this game because it does take up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pages in this instruction manual. There are things about finances and trade in here as well. That is a cool spinny logo. Look at that. Woo! Whoa, someone worked out how to do a spinny logo. 1993, this one. Copyright Jalico, huh? Hey, Scottish Gamer VR. I'm good, thanks. Hope you're doing okay. Welcome to Utopia. Music on. Sure. Let's keep the music on. Wait. Did I do that right? Am I doing this? Okay, wow, this is just put me straight into the game. Uh I'm gonna well I'm gonna Did I what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> what the f I don't know what I'm doing. Did that put that down? What have I done? Oh yes, I I do actually remember this game. Like it scrolls along the um the surface like that, so it only renders like a tiny little bit of the world. 
you're gonna look in it through a window. Okay, I don't, I don't know what you do. I begged a question mark, I don't know what that means. What do these things down the bottom do? Oh, okay, this is the map of the world. This is my, uh, this is my command center, I guess. Thanks for subscribing, Scottish Gamer VR. High five. Um, I, yeah. What, seven. What are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is okay. Hold on. I don't want to read the instructions too much. But. Utopia was designed to rival SimCity, but with a greater focus on its social model and combat rather than construct concentrating exclusively on building so it must be a little bit more action-packed so move the cursor with that yep switch between toolbar and colony display I was kind of doing that B is build query confirm X reposition marker in query mode decrease numbers in menus switch between wow that's there's a lot about what things do but nothing really in here about why I need to do them. <laughs> or what the fuck is going on. Um, help, let me out. Um, did I look at this one? Not enough living space, people unhappy. Living quarters mix fifty people. This is definitely something you're gonna need to. If you didn't play it back in the day, this is something you're gonna need to um, spend a little bit of time with working out what the hell is going on. Maybe uh, how to how to start playing hydroponics. Let's grow some grass, man. I got a bulldozer. Can I just knock everything down? See if I can smash up the hydroponics. Yeah, fuck you. Ah, I'm raising my own town to the ground. That's how much of a rebellious leader I am. Utopia? More like Pootopia. Oh, I'm messing them up. So if you have fond memories of Utopia... Uh, this game is also on the cart. I honestly don't know what the fuck is going on. I mean, it's... I'm probably... You can probably tell. What's the money bit do? Oh. Can I give myself a pay rise? What am I? Spying, Grant? Let's spy on everyone. I'm going to put all the money into spying. can't hold it down. You have to tap individually. It's going to take me a long time to put all money into spying. But yeah, that's Utopia. A game that I do not understand here. Oh. Or oh, I didn't understand how to quit it either by the looks of things. So let's go back. So um, that is uh, an early look at the Gremlin Collection 1. Actua Soccer, Actua really liked that. Surprising. That would legit be quite a fun game to play. Uh, two players on a sofa with a pal and relive the 90s with, uh, yeah, good one. Uh, Brain Bender seemed like a decent enough puzzle game. Uh, quite unique having a, you know, the juxtaposition, juxtaposition between a, a Game Boy game and an, a PlayStation 1 game. Uh, there. I don't think that's going to, you know, blow too many people's minds, but it seemed like a, an, an interesting puzzle game. Really liked Hardcore 4x4. Great graphics, lots of personality. Um, just, yeah, that was... That appealed to me because I'm big and stupid, just like those cars. Premier Manager... Utopia, and then Zool, uh, yeah, a lot of fun. I'm definitely, that's definitely going to be one that I uh, play off stream 
uh, and because um, I want to see what's past that weird B with the licorice all sorts wings. So uh, yeah, Gremlin Collection One. That's a decent cart. That is cart. Did I do them in number order? Have I screwed it up? I have screwed up. This is uh, this is cart number twenty-four. And what I like, what they've done um, in the back, is um, they've put a "Have you got them all?" thing, and then little check mark boxes there. Like I'm at the age now where I wouldn't want to draw on uh, <laughs> on on this. Because I like keeping things nice and clean and neat. But, like, Ian from the 90s that uh, used to try and collect all the Codemasters games, uh, I'd totally be there marking off all the ones I had and saving up my pocket money for the ones that I, I didn't have. So that's, that's a neat idea. Um, Ian of two years ago finally did collect all the uh, Codemaster Spectrum games. So, so it only took... A few years. Okay. Can you plug a mouse into the Evercade? I don't think you can plug a mouse into the Evercade. Oh yeah, Cleaver Slip says not yet. We're looking into it though. That'd be pretty awesome. I definitely would. Hey, Scottish v Gamer VR says uh, I got a few new games today. Cartridges 11, 22. An arcade three. Ooh, what are those ones? Ugh. See which ones you got. Cartridge eleven. That is the Oh Tanglewood one. And Xeno Crisis. That's a really good one. I've played loads of both of those. Tanglewood is just the best animation for the little fox thing. And Xeno Crisis is um yeah, decent. Decent shooter. What was the other one you had? 22. The Bitmap Brothers one. Nice. And then the Galico uh, Arcade one, three. That's the one that I've spent a long time. Um, I was mentioned earlier. I completed all the games on it off stream because they were so wacky and crazy that I wanted to see what was past the bits I got to. Anyway, I'm chatting too much. There are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve games. On cart number 23, the renovation collection, and I have played zero of them. So let's see what we've got here. We've got Arcus Odyssey. We've got Beast Wrestler. Now, Beast Wrestler, um, I know Beast Wrestler because I featured Beast Wrestler in a video every year since 2016. I've done a, um, a, a video games predict this year kind of video where... Um, I look at games that were released in the past that were set these years and what their idea of the future would be like. And Beast Wrestler is set in 2021 or 2020, one of those years. But Beast Wrestler, I featured in one of those videos. Dino Land, never heard of. El Viento, never heard of. Exile, never heard of. We've got Final Zone, never heard of. Galares, never heard of. Granada, Granada. I feel like I've heard of that, but maybe I'm confusing that with the old TV station Granada. Soldis? Do I remember Soldis? Uh, Tracia. Valis. Valis 3. What happened to Valis 2? Poor Valis 2. I guess we'll just go through alphabetical and see what uh, see what treats we've got on here then. <clears throat> uh, this is a action RPG from 1991. Oh, I like action RPGs. So this would probably be in the style of Zelda and stuff like that, I guess. Or maybe a bit more of an action-packed um, Final Fantasy, early Final Fantasy. Wolf Team! Mega Drivey. Well, this is a toy intro. I like this. Like the old uh, 90s anime styling. Pretty dark. Wah, 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 wah. This is a good intro. Boom. 
A long time ago, a sorceress named Castamira lived in a place called Arcus, and she plotted a scheme to destroy the whole world. The sorceress planned to use her dark magic to remake the world according to her own design. She conquered many lands and brought chaos to the lives of innocent people everywhere. Many brave warriors died trying to stop her, but only one person had the courage and strength to confront the sorceress. It's this guy. Is it, is it me? Is he going to tell us? You're going to tell? You're just going to leave us hanging. Oh, wait, hold on. A good princess called Liti rose up to stop the wicked Castamira. Liti commanded the magical powers of light, and she brought these forces to bear on Castamira. Liti and Castamira clashed in the most powerful battle ever recorded in ancient history. The shock waves from the battle utterly destroyed the lands around them. Okay, this might already be my favourite car. <laughs> Kami Hamihara in there. After days of fighting, Liti was victorious, and Castamira was confined to the Dark World. In order to seal Castamira's fate, Liti forced a magical sword that would bind Castamira forever. This sword came called the Power of Liti. This sword has been guarded for centuries by the kings of Arcus and has been a symbol of peace for the people. Now that the peace has been threatened again, as the Power of Liti has been stolen by the followers of the wicked sorceress, Castamira growing stronger. <laughs> this is what I quite like about the Avocade stuff. Is that... Um, Sometimes you'll get carts like the Gremlin one where you're like, oh, Nostalgia AF. And then other times you'll get carts with just all these random games that you've never heard of and that like turn out to... I mean, this game might be shit, but that intro was awesome. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's nice to see. So It's like that Galico one and um, there was I can't, it's the Pico one, I think, that's just loads of... Um, games that were released in Taiwan or something, but never here, and they all got translated. It's nice to, uh... Let me sexy, sexy long-legged elf lady. Act 1, Leetie's Power. I've already nearly done 10 minutes on this one already, and that's 12 to get through, fuck. Okay, it's speedy. It's not, um, it's not like a, a slow movement game. Um... Okay, I don't know the buttons. Okay, we've got kind of like isometric kind of controls. Ooh. Also, it's very action-packed. It's like quite speedy action. It's not like a Zelda. More like, almost like a, a gaunt that crossed with um, a Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy you know, return-based and stuff. Seems pretty. Liti, this sacred underground shrine at Yukioda was turned into a nest of caves by the Dark Lords. The weaker I was becoming, the more things were developing, exactly as the Dark Lords is hope. Please help me. All of my power I will give to you now. Nice! I've got all of Liti's power. I don't know what that means. Okay, we're going inside. So we've got dungeoneering. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. Well, Leetie's power was a bag of shit. <laughs> okay, I might move on. I think I'll move on because I've got 50 minutes left and 11 games to do. Coming back to this one though, this is, uh, this is a treat. I like this one. This is, this, I think this is, this is going by just one game so far, but this seems like the sort of cut that I'd pack with me if I was going on a flight and I'd want some, like, games to spend quite a bit of time with. Okay, let's go on to Beast Wrestler. We've got Special Attack, Tail Whip, and Punch and Hold. So, yeah, this is, um, basically in the year 2021, beasts and robots were made to fight each other. Our hole, our our hole. Are they trying to write asshole? Okay, no. 
Whoa, Webble Vision. This is Beast Wrestler, Telnet, Japan. Okay, we can have a match or a tournament. Let's go for a single match. One player versus computer. You can have two, two players. Okay, do I want to be asshole? Dominoes. Makara. Hacks. Plagiarizing. Wow, that elephant's got boobies. Octit. Oc <laughs> Octit. <laughs> oh, Halloween, huh? I don't even know what that says. Frederico. Dekun. I'm going to have to be asshole. Versus. Octiti. Okay. Arsehole versus Octiti. Oh, Octi. Oh, I can read it now. Airhole. Airhole is still weird. Octi, not so weird. <clears throat> ba -ba -ba. So you see the crowds in the top left and right corner. They're watching. So it's basically a, it's basically a person v person. Um, beat him up. I was like, probably like a wrestling game. I just bounced off the 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 virtual ropes. What's it doing to me? Oh my god. I took the piss out of this one quite a lot in the video. And um, my piss taking seems to have been uh, uh, confirmed. It is... I don't know what the fuck is happening. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to asshole? Let me move! Oh my god. <laughs> Octiti's Oct far too tough. Whoa! Octiti took me up into... No, I took Octiti up into the sky and suplexed him by the moon. Fuck you! <laughs> oh shit. I feel like this... Sh I should have read some instructions. Oh! Can I teabag it? What? War! I just... I, I think I just found Arsehole's pro, pro, groin proboscis. Oh, I'm knocked out again. Oh, oh he's... Boy, boy, it's coming out. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh I did it. I fucked him up again. Yeah, stay down! Don't you get up! Arsehole owns you! <laughs> this is Arsehole's ring. Get the... Get out of here! Yeah! How pin do? How pin do? How pin do? I f fuck you! Yeah! The world below- No! <laughs> Does the air hole have a tail or is it attacking with something else as well as 64 bits? It's definitely attacking with um... Can I, why can't I make it pop out anymore? Oh, I can't attack now because they're counting it out. It's it's definitely its penis. Happy time. Have get sit down. Don't make me hit you in your bulbous head with my extendo dick. Surely that's it. Don't get up, man. Don't make me put penis on you again. Winner! Ahul! <laughs> Decision. I've decided this game is weird as fuck. <laughs> it's kind of... I don't know if this one's going to be one I play very often, but that's quite funny. Well done, Ahul! That was uh, Beast something. Beast Wrestler. Um, very bizarre game. This is like kaijus and robots kicking fuka out of each other. Dino Land. This looks like it might be a... Oh, 
I say it might be like a like a kids based game, but this is actually uh, it's, it's a um, pinball game. Right flipper, left flipper, shoot ball, nudge game scene, transforming boss stage. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong button. Okay. How's this gonna go? Oh. Is this one a bit too loud? Drop that one down. Okay. Config. Big inner. I'm gonna be big inner. I do. <laughs> I do like a big inner, to be fair. Alright. Uh, can I add? Okay, we got music. We can change the musics. Fine. Let's go. Dino Land. Okay, let's do it. Oh, a bit of uh, digitized speech there. Oh, did not pull that ball back hard enough. Okay. Not the smoothest of scrolls for this pinball game. The fuck is that? Two weird babies and a pink lizard. Oh, what's that one? Ah, what console this would have been on? Is this, a, is this a Mega Drive as well? It seems a bit basic for a Mega Drive. It must be. The music sounds kind of Mega Drive y. That dinosaur in the middle got a crown on. What have we got? A bird, a baby, and a green lizard. Oh yeah, go in there. Hey, knocked all them dinosaurs out. Look at me. Straight up murking those dinos. Whoop! Whoop! Oh, we're down here now. What? Come on, let's just... It wasn't the Ice Age that wiped the dinosaurs out. It was me! There's the boss. I don't know. Oh, shit! Okay, let's do it. I like that it's got a crazy theme to it. And the music makes it sound like some crazy shit's gonna happen. But it does seem a bit sluggish. Okay, let's do it. Aren't these just the most adorable dinosaurs, says Mol Siddiqui? Yes, they are. Look at their little faces. Boing. Just don't look at the ones I've squished. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, triple kill. Oh. Oh. Well, I've got some bonus there that's put a rock in the middle of the um, the thing, so I don't lose my bowl. That's kind of it. Although, if there's a way to lose the bowl, I'll find it. What am I trying to... I'm trying to light up the words Dino Land at the moment. Like uh, PUBG's Dino Land. How have I lit up the other letters of Dino Land then? Oh shit! Oh shit, the boss is... That's the boss! Wait. What's happening now? Hey, can I transform? No. <laughs> oh. I thought the... Come back with my balls, you shite! Get this fuck off him! Whoa! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, so I can transform as a... 
Oh no! Ah! Oh. So I could, when I was up there, I was able to transform into a little mini dinosaur and I had a certain amount of time to maybe, I guess, get up and rescue my my girlfriend, my dino girlfriend. How do I how do I get back there again? Whoa! Made some money. This is this is oh shit shite. This is an easy one to take the piss out of, but um, this actually has some quite neat ideas, um, and I I think I'll I think I'll revisit this one um, off stream. I, like I I want to get to the bottom of the mysteries of this game. Uh, it seems like the the whole boss fight thing is quite a nice little twist, and it does have some kind of adorable little sprites as well. So uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. First impressions were bad, but then I kind of got into it. I like this one, El Viento. Look at that cover. Is it like a lady firing fire out of her hand and then like some kind of gangsters behind her going, hey, oh, who swiped my pepperoni? This is a platformer. The scene is New York in 1928. And the worshippers of the ancient evil wind god Hastur are attempting to resurrect their deity. Only one woman can save the day, Annette. A distant relation of Hastur. So we've got magic jump and attack. Okay, let's go straight in. Let's go straight in. This game is an onion, says Gavin. Yes, many layers. Tornado is approaching with its huge funnel upright in order to create a dreadful world. The powerful tornado El Viento has just started its activities. Okay. In 1928, in New York, the skyscrapers are about to be overwhelmed by the force of an evil dark world power. The fanatic believers who worship the devilish lord from the outer world, Hastur, are planning a... Uh, fuck it. Cool 90s anime kind of character there. Game stuff. Well, let's, oh, let's just change the music or the controls. Okay. Okay, it's kind of got like um, Shinobi vibes with the with the graphics and the side-scrolling action. I've got kind of um, rose-tinted glasses with the Mega Drive Shinobi games. I, in my mind, this doesn't look anywhere near as good as the Shinobi Mega Drive games, but I feel like if I actually saw the Shinobi Mega Drive games again, I'd be like, oh, oh shit, they, they look a bit poo. Well, I, last time I played the Shinobi Mega Drive games was, I think, back when the Mega Drive was on sale. And um, I remember them back in the day looking like photorealistic. Uh, it's probably not the case anymore. What is going on in New York nowadays? This is 1928 New York. These gangsters must be like, what the fuck? Where's this mo Where have these mo bikes come from? I think she is beating up Dick Tracy Clones, yeah. Ah! That motherfucker just threw... He's thrown his furniture out! Why would you do that? I look at these pricks. Why would you do that? Was that an axe? How many chairs have you got? Are they twins? Are they twins that hate chairs? I think they're twins that hate chairs. There you go. I've murdered them. Fuck you. That's what you get for disrespecting chairs. Ow! <laughs> I like this game because it's bonkers. I'm not sure it's, like, technically a brilliant game, but I like how fucking weird it is. I'll put up with some 
slightly ropey gameplay and dodgy parallax scrolling if a game can keep me interested by being off the wall bananas which this seems to be you fucking why is this what does any of this have to do with the tornado why are these motherfuckers why are there so many people throwing shit out of their windows at this poor lady with a boomerang oh shit you can go inside the houses now it's like wrath of black manta I don't know what the fuck is going on, but this game has brightened up my day. Look at the... What the fuck? I just blew up a pink Cadillac. Whoa! Is it... A, no, it's more like a Rolls Royce or something. Where are all these people coming from? With knives? I don't know, 90s, 20s... America had such trouble with knife crime. Oh, there's a... Whoa! Oh, I ain't fucking hell. Hey, I'm walking here. So that was a New York joke. Sit down. Some excellent old school console slow down there when too many sprites are on the screen. Let's go in here. go through here. I like that going through the doors takes you to different areas. I cannot fucking get over these dickheads throwing their furniture out the window at a mystical goddess for like what seems like no reason. Um, oh, I've got magic power. Hold on. Come on. Fuck you! Ah! Oh. Yeah. Eat a dick. <laughs> I did spot Winnie the Pooh getting thrown out the window. Um, or at least... A, a well, it wasn't even legally distinct. So that's cool. So I can actually... So I've got this shit I can throw whenever. And then I have magical firepower that I can also lob. Um, but that takes a little while to recharge. Can I not? Oh, I can't jump up there. Oh, I see. I was trying to jump through this floor bit, but I couldn't. I had to go back through the building. So, I quite like this game. Uh, I need to move on to the next game. This game is weird as shit, and I like it. I like the fact that you can go through all the different doors to kind of try and work out where you're going, or, uh, like where you're supposed to be going. Uh, I can't wait to see what other weird shit happens in this game, where the majority of the enemies are just dickheads with too many flowers but um, yeah they um, that's uh, this is definitely one I'm going to be playing more of Ooh, I don't mean to reset it I meant to quit it hit it to quit it okay so that was El Viento so so far really good first impressions stupid actually kind of might be all right after a bad first impression amazing on to exile now exile is a 1991 rpg about saddler a hero of the desert who has once again been drawn into the war of some kind of stuff please stream a full play for says joaquin velasquez <laughs> maybe I would watch a full playthrough of this for sure, says the crowd boy marks. Oh, maybe we could do something later in the week. Uh, beginning or continue? Okay, well, I guess beginning. What time is it? Oh, fuck, it's half past. All right. Might have to... Everything derives from nature. Man, too, enjoys the benevolent influence of nature in his life, but he has no way to cope once nature becomes violent with the storms, cold spells, or other extremes in nature. I think I'm going to have to start skipping some of these intros. Just because I'm, I'm running out of time. And a lot of these I want to see. Okay, Doonesville. Dunes Village? Okay, this is more of like an old school RPG, isn't it? Sadler, where have you been? So, again, it's like anime graphics. I'm going to skip through all this shit. So, currently, 
wandering around. So this is, yeah, this is proper old school. Maybe it'll be turn-based fighting. I don't really know what I'm doing. I didn't read what anyone said. Right now, I am too busy to go. Please forgive me. Oh. Oh, Sadler. Please take me on your trips when I grow up. Okay, are we trying to recruit people? Oh, this dude. Moo Moo Moo. Okay. Nice work, Moo Moo. Can I go in here? Ain't got... Ain't got no customers to stay in our hotel. Because Lucille forces have stationed themselves all around the town. Okay. What's, what's, what's this guy say? You should not go out while the sun is still shining and the temperature is so high. Okay, that's, that's kind of him to tell us. Whoa, look at that musty. There was a rumor that the Temple Cavalry is acting in complicity with Lucille forces. They must follow the example of Sadler and his group well. So this seems kind of interesting. Um, pharmacy. May I help you? Buy or sell. So you can buy or sell things. I could buy... Can I buy some Ipodoc? Convol... Convol... Convalsance? I don't know what I, I don't know what the fuck you're selling, but it was way overpriced. I haven't got any money. Hello. My husband has locked himself at home all the time ever since. I asked him to go on an errand. Oh, he told me that he saw a member of the Dune Cavalry in the nearby desert, and that the Dune Cavalry and Lucille Army Unit will come to attack and kill us. These are the things he talks about all the time. Oh, 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 oh he's a ray of light, that mother... Okay. I, oh. It's kind of easy to skip bits. It happened when I went out to go shopping. So I don't really know what's going on with this, but... If you like these kind of old-school style RPGs, might be your bag. 100% my bag, to be honest. What was it called? What is this one called? Exile. This game was edited rather heavily upon release due to the original game's use of real-world religious iconography and real persons. Yeah. So not too much detail here about what you can do in exile. But, oh, well, that's an interesting one. Something to look into a bit more at some point, but, uh, yeah, not one, not one to, uh, concentrate too much on this stream, I don't think. Final zone! Now, hey, this looks cool. This is a 1990 shoot 'em up It's already got a big robot in it, which I like. You are Ace New Age Power Suit Pilot Howie Bowie. Fuck, that is a cool name. Weapon select, fire weapon, fire optional weapon. Wow, Howie Bowie. That's badass. Hey, Andrew Joseph. Um, I would like to go back in time and tell my parents to call me Howie Bowie, please. Okay, here we go. Start button. Anything in the config? Level easy. Okay, just so yeah, that'll be fine. Stage one. Green scorpion, green fly, green hornet. So many green things. Hand normal. Okay. Whoa! Okay. So it's kind of like an isometric mech shooter game. It seems like uh, early days of Mega Drive sort of style of game. So I've got this machine gun. It doesn't look like I've got any ammo for that gun. 
This gun does uh, maybe overheat the top middle. That's going down. I can't hold down on the trigger on it. And I know that one, what's that do? Well, this is, I can do upgrades, can I? Don't know if I can do any upgrades at the moment. Oh, wait, I can. Can I give myself different weapons? Bazooka, hand option. Okay, I can... So I can have the normal one, and then I can... Let's have a Vulcan cannon as my optional weapon. This is, the Vulcan cannon is just sideways. Oh, I've got to kill them. I don't know what these little balls are. For some reason, uh, this, uh, I don't know why, this level is re reminding me of uh, the ZX Spectrum game 3D Ant Attack, I think just because it's 3D, isometric kind of. It's quite speedy. There's one of those green fly things. This should be um, any on-screen indicators telling me where the things I need to kill are. I'm just run into a bunch of them now. Ooh, didn't mean to press that button. Ooh, suddenly got feet boosters. How do I do that? Oh, tapping in. Oh, that's cool. Tapping in a certain direction. Zip along. Ooh, yeah, they're floating mines. Ooh, that's some of the sound effects in this. Hey! Come back here, green chopper! If you have a green chopper, go to the doctors. And I shoot these pricks down there. Okay, okay five enemies left. Where are they? Let's get the Wamana Mamana. Can I go in the ground? No. Thought maybe I could go in the Oh, what are these? Whoa! Did I just get airstriked? Whoa! Wow. Everyone, a moment's silence for the big robot and its courageous pilot, Howie Bowie. Okay, that was, uh, Final Zone. It seemed, seemed all right. Um, I, I, I definitely didn't feel like a classic shoot em up, but it had some good ideas. This next one is a Gaiares. This is a shoot em up. Cool. Okay. Owie, bl Owie Blowie, says Nightcat. <laughs> nice. Oof, don't go under those bad boys, says Look Wild Boy Marks. Yeah. I remember that for the next time I play it. Okay. Here we go, straight into the action with this one. Yeah, this already looks quite cool. Speedy takeoff. Okay, yeah, classic kind of r type style game. I can um, fire my pod. Use that to take enemies out. Got any other... Uh, it looks like it's a two-button one. Earning better bullets. The more I... Looks like the more I fire these pricks, I steal their weapons. That's, that's quite a decent idea. Is that a potato? Oh, the fuck are they? What were they smoking when they made this? Pretty sweet music. I like that you can um, steal your enemy. Oh shit! It's tough though. I, like, I do like that you can kind of steal your enemy's bullets by firing the pod. 
at them. That's that's quite unique. Yeah, get more more bullets the more kind of suck their life force up. Oh shit, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Spots in space, as Neil drew it. That seems quite pretty cool. A uh, nice little R-type clone with a... Whoa! I don't know how the fuck I've done this. F formation. Now we're talking. I'm just holding the button down and just destroying everyone. Fuck you! How have I done this? Who cares? Ah, oh, shite. That seems decent. Uh, so I'm speeding through these a bit more now because uh, 20 minutes left. Granada. This is another shoot 'em up. Uh, as sharpshooter Leon Todo. The year is 2016, huh? Fire, fire, a fixed direction of fire. Blast. Okay. Not uh, Leon Todo, not as cool a name as Howie Bowie. Off team. Granada. Nobody knows who named it. It is a hyper cannon tank from which unit or country of origin is unknown. This weapon has been destroying all kinds of weapons. <laughs> what? One after the other, regardless of attached camps, north or south. Somebody calls it God of African Continent. Others, another calls it Ghost of Soldiers. Only those who actually happen to see it know the truth. It's a tank. It's like an angry elephant. Whoa! Granada. Okay. Let's just go straight in. Let's go straight in. Oh, this is... Oh, this is probably the most basic graphics on the uh, cart so far. I like the music, though. So, the map on my left there... I'm, I'm guessing that the reds showing targets that I need to take down. So I need to find a way to get into them. <laughs> How long does this fucking building want to be? Jesus! Ooh. Power up. Boom. Yes. Okay, we have to destroy these targets. Okay, it's good to have an objective. doesn't look as fancy as some of the others on, on this uh, car, but this kind of feels like one I'd probably play a lot more. It's kind of like Space Gauntlet. I'm getting boned by these things. There we go. Oh, I need to... That's it. Fixed direction of fire. There we go. Oh, I like that. I can that thing. I can like shoot it, and then the bullets bounce off it. That's neat. What is this? There's something up here. Oh, that's my. I've got a big special gun there. How do I get up into that area then? I've got some. Here we go. Sit here, lock the cannons into a forward firing position, and take them out. There we go. What? Oh my god, giant rolling pins. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Some more interesting mech designs here. How's my health? I think my shield is the top bit. I am quite damaged now. I got one. I can take one more hit, I think. Can be a little bit tricky to get my 
my tank firing in the right direction, but that could just be because I'm noob controls to this. I'm sure once I get used to it. I quite like this. It's, you know, definitely graphically, it's nowhere near the quality of a lot of the other whoop, uh, games on this cart, but it's quite a novel idea. Kind of reminds me of the top-down levels of Super Probotector, aka um, Super Contra. That I used to, that's one of my all-time favourite games. So I, I think that, that might be why I like this. Why I've, I, I uh, seem to have gravitated towards this one a bit. Like if I just wanted to have a quick blast on something. I would probably stick this one on. Just go and blow up some crappy robots. <laughs> Metal Granada says Maltadiki. You know this one? I'd never heard of this one before. Oh, my shields are down. Bullets everywhere. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm still going to blow. See if I can see. Now, see, this is silly. I say, I say, oh, I've got to rush through these games now because I'm running out of time. And then I find one I really like. <laughs> these pricks. Why are you attacking the town? Get fucked. Ooh. What did that say? Insectoid. Ah, fuck! Oh, <laughs> I got squashed, but it didn't completely kill me. Is this the right way to go? That little crazy box is just hyperactive as fuck. Okay, here we go. I'm not take I'm not being very careful here. At all. Just trying to get I just want to see what happens when you complete a level. Peace off! Eat it. What? Okay, that's what happens when you... Now we've got, like, this actual boss is like the the boss at the end of the first top-down um, Super Pro Botector level. Why am I hitting it? In its legs? So I'm hitting it occasionally and it flashes white and then other times I shoot it, fuck all happens. I thought it was shooting this little leggies. Ah, oh, it got me. All right, I'm going to move on to the next. I'm going to move on to another one anyway. That's I like that one. Granada Soldis. This is another side-scrolling R-type clone by the looks of things. <clears throat> okay, Wolf Team game creative stuff. Should be called the Wolf Team Collection. As Soldis races toward Earth, GCS WT keeps building and becoming stronger. Edwin Dees is gone. It's time to let his legacy determine the fate of mankind. All right, straight in. Let's go. Whoop, whoop. Okay, that's a power up. Alright, if you're a fan of side-scrolling shooters, this game's got you covered f with a couple. Seems a bit slicker than the first one we did. The first one had 
to be fair, had like that cool, like little trick with this, with the uh, absorbing the weapons. But this just seems a little bit smoother, a little bit faster paced. Wow, got some like Mode Seven looking graphics there. Weapons. Let's dodge the space debris. What is all this shit? Is this ex an exploded spaceship? Okay, we got. Oh, it's getting kind of bullet helly in here. It's getting hot in here. Hot for bullets. Boom. I'm Jun. I wonder if that's the name of one of the uh, developers. Ah, oh, fuck. What oh, was a power up there? Is that that? Is it a power up? I think it was. Look at this mech. Some cool spaceship designs. Seems like um, we might get some kind of weird, crazy shit going on. Even the ship kind of looks like the R-Type ship. Obviously there's been side-scrolling shooters before, but... The very first one I, uh, I ever played was R-Type. And uh, so... That's what I think of whenever I play one of these types of games. Can I go behind that? Ooh, what the fuck? What is this shit? Firing things at me. You coming back? Okay, here we go. Boss fight. Let's see how I do with a boss fight before I move on to the next one. Flying right in the middle of its pincers. Yeah, you didn't expect that move, did you? What shit! I didn't expect that, though. Oh, f oh shit. Give me. I can't. Uh oh. Have I got any special guns? Ah, oh, fuck, it's battering me. Oh, game over. There's a crab. It's more like a crab than a spider. Okay, that was, that was pretty good. Soldis, if you like side scrolling shooters. That's a pretty good one. How many have got? Three left. Okay, we can do those. Tracia is next. This is a RPG. Roy is an 18-year-old adventure seeker. Roy. What an excellent heroic name. I have a quick peek at this one. I have a feeling this is going to be another slow-paced RPG. <clears throat> Do a thing called Tracia. Select the save data to start from. Sure, that one. This is the port town. Oh my god. Excellent ginger beard from that chap in the background. I've my ginger beard's getting pretty big. Normally I shave my beard off when it starts itching, but it hasn't itched yet, so I'm um, just going to keep going. Okay. You're a traveller. You must be new to travelling. <laughs> Would you like to hear my advice? Sure. When you go into a town, first go to an inn and sign in the register. That way there's a, been a record that you've been there. In any town there is a mayor and a sage. It is important to go and listen to their advice. Their advice is always useful. When you get hurt, don't go into an inn. Go to a doctor. Oh, that's why I've been going wrong. So that's why I was off work. Went to the inn rather than the doctor. Uh, it looks like you can get a party of uh, four characters with this one. What's that? It's not... Hello? Who are you? Oh. What are you saying? I've missed everything you said. 
Can I speak to you again? Have I... Can I not speak to him now? I told that guy I didn't want to speak to him because I wanted him to repeat what he was saying. I presume that's... Is that meant to be knocking at the door or doors closing or something? You must be a stranger here. You don't know about our master. Yeah, tell me about your master. Your master hasn't lived here for very long. He came to the town of Salon. Okay, fine. Don't care. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like oh, oh, someone drinking like when they're really thirsty. So there's the doctors. There's the inn. Let's go get pissed. Quite cheerful music. Can I speak to this? Can I buy some booze? Sir, I would like some booze! Sir! This feels a bit rickety, this game. The way it kind of moves, you know, it jerks and it's like... Uh, 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 uh. Can I sit? No? What, what the hell is the point of this inn? Honestly, out of the three RPGs in this package, I think this would be the one that I'd be less likely to play. It might be worth it. If you've got a lot of time in your hands, might be worth digging into it. But if I had a choice between um, playing Arcus Odyssey or um, what was the other one? Exile. Or this. Be Arcus Odyssey first, then Exile, and then and then Trace here. Seems a little bit too clunky for my liking. That's an interesting one though. Cause I'd never even heard of it before. Let's try Valis. What does this say about Trace here in here? Tracia, Tracia. That's absolutely no info, really, apart from what some of the icons mean. No little tips or uh, interesting factoids. So this is Valis. Valis first released in 1986. Since then, it has spawned three sequels and been adapted to man <laughs> the <laughs> so <laughs> the, the book here it says uh it's it's been it's spawned three sequels and been adapted to manga twice at least it it's meant to say that but um i don't think you'll be able to see it it it's it says the it's been adapted to mange twice which is a little bit different to manga, but <laughs> that just made me giggle. Okay, let's give Valis a go. Valis 4 is on the Switch Super Nintendo subscription, says Lee. Ah, okay. Oh, look at that. Japanese school uniforms. Sad, rainy anime times. Uh, okay, it's fine, I'm back at This game actually, well, Valis 3 takes center stage on this cart, so I'm expecting these to be special. Okay, oh, well, I'm not very good at hitting these things yet. There we go. So we've got some excellent slide moves. Uh, there's a button to look upwards. Oh, there's jump. So this one, you can kind of feel the age of this one. What am I doing? I'm pressing the slide button, not the attack button. I think I just backstabbed Darth Vader. The button's feeling in the wrong, in the wrong place for me. I wonder if I can alter the button layout. This is like, uh, kind of like a decent-ish side-scrolling 
beat them up. These are the kind of things I used to play when I was a kid, but obviously less Japanese stuff and more Western. Music's kind of cool. Can I jump up? Oh yeah, there you go. Hold up and you jump a bit high. What the fuck is that, man? I like the kind of like um, basic looking Tokyo suburb streets they've got in here. You're not my father! No! Some weird ass Power Ranger monsters going down here. Apparently there are 10 Valis games. All the platformers except Valis X, which is an <laughs> erotic visual novel, says Gavin. Oh my. Yeah, Valis 1 and 3 are on this. And um, I've got to say, I've never heard of them before, the Valis games. It's the right way to go. It is the right way to go. Seems pretty, uh, it seems pretty cool, though. It's got that kind of clunky, like, old school... Um, platformer feel that came like around you know the NES kind of master system and early Mega Drive and SNES years before uh, before they got started to get like really decent because like the Mega Drive and the, the Super Nintendo ended up being such great machines for side-scrolling action games hot Give me, how can I, can I jump down? There you go, you can jump down. It's only a subway now. Is that a giant flea? Gross. Okay, oh, it is three minutes past eight, so. So that was Valis 1. Let's see uh, how Valis. He's traded in a school uniform for a Sailor Moon style outfit. And this is 1991. Oh, there may have been a special move, Nightcat. I didn't check the buttons. Dark World! That's where we fucking live at the moment, tell you. Glames! I like playing Vlidio Glames! <laughs> Lee! What a terrifying... The terrifying beast! Lee! Oh, fortune teller, Lee. Uh, A in... Oh, you can use magic in... Can you use magic... Oh yeah, in Valis 1, you have to press A and up to use magic. Which is the same in this one. Basically the same controls. This version of Valis 3 released 8 months before the version of Valis on this collection. Oh. So, so. No, where there is destruction to the weak, strength prospers. It's enough philosophy. Oh man, I want your t-shirt, says Kath Duthie. Well! You can get my t-shirt, I think. Let's find out. If it's still there. Can I search on... Search. Search. Jorts. <laughs> yeah, it is. There it is. You can actually buy this t-shirt from... Fuck's sake. From a place that I can't copy and paste properly from. Uh, you can actually buy this t-shirt from insertcoinclothing.com along with some other clothes from the Eurogamer range. That link I've just posted in Twitch and YouTube is the link to the Hickton's original Quality Jorts t-shirt that I'm wearing right now. Uh, guaranteed to make you look 100% sexier than before uh, you were wearing it. Just got to say. Okay. Here we go. Glad to see you streaming after being off from EG. Assumed you'd fallen into an Elden Ring holes, holes as in focus. 
I didn't play any video games for two days. What a waste of time. Could have been playing Elden Ring for 48 hours, but no. Nope. Uh, okay. Jam. This. Uh, can I skip this? Yeah. My Valis Sword has been stolen by somebody. I've got to get it back as soon as possible. I have to go now. So, this version, it was saying in the instructions that this version released before the Valis one that I played. So, I think the Valis one that I played was like a, a renovation. I cannot use my battle change ability without the sword. Oh, shit. Alright, well, let's get... I can't... I'm... I'm... A young lady running across Japanese rooftops in her jimmy jams. Give me my sword back! I have the t-shirt. Wear it to the gym regularly, says Jimbo. Nice! And yes, you will be 200% sexy in Neil Druitt. Colour, Iana Blue. I mean, this is the best t-shirt. It is the best t-shirt, Thomas Darkness Walker. Hi, Sham. Give me my sword. How do I... How do I move the... Oh, the start moves the uh, text forward. That's weird. Whoa. Another Power Ranger looking mother flipper. Boy! Question mark. Yuko, help me! Oh, there's the sword. Oh no, I need the Valis sword. Fell off. You just jumped down there barefoot, are you? Catch it. Whoa! Return it to me! Yas! Whoa! The face turned into a pizza. Okay, now I have the Valis sword. Okay. So, what's magic? So that's normal attack, and then magic is up and... I guess I don't have any magic power yet. Oh, now I do. Okay. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? That magic seems pointless. <laughs> so, if I click that... No, if I touch it, nothing happens. If I hit it, it gives me magic power. Okay. Up and... Hup! Hup! That is... Maybe it destroys enemies on the screen. Hold on. Oh, huh. wait, what? Huh. This j angry poo is breathing fire at me. I still enjoy the way the models all look kind of upset to be wearing that t-shirt, says Nightcat. There's a lot of fly, like, tick style things in this game. Okay. And magic! The fuck does it do? <laughs> it does a cool pose, fine. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe this will maybe this will do a magic. Okay, fiery poo and magic. Yes. Okay, yeah. So you have to get. Up. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I've summoned a magic sword. The fuck? Oh, there we go. Um. So you have to get a wand before you can do the sword attacks. Oh. Here's the boss fight. This meeting was done quickly. Do you understand why, Warrior Valis? Why did you do such a thing? Ask your sword. Reno. So obviously, I'm hoping that's short for uh, renovations. Or we've run across the rooftops from Japan to the uh, Las Vegas town of Reno. I don't know. Wait, Reno's probably its own city, isn't it? Just outside of Las Vegas. Pound on Las Vegas. Hey! 
Gotcha. Fuck you. Bop, bop, bop. Tea bag. Whoa. Yeah. Successful rescue. The Dark World is going to be absorbed into Nether Space. Oh, fuck. Not the Nether Space. Cham. This is true. Is that why you wanted my Valis Ward? Yes, I needed the Valis Sword in the Legends of the Dark World. Jesus! <laughs> now I've gone. Oh, that's a pretty level. All right. Anyway, it is way past my uh, my bedtime. Not really. It's way past the time I meant to quit this. So, uh, final thoughts on Evercade Carts. 23 and 24, starting with the renovation. Uh, there are some excellent uh, games on here. There's some real good, like, treats and curiosities that I'd never heard of before. Uh, and there's a really good mix of different game types as well. So, you know, you've got shooters, RPGs, you've got a wrestling game, plenty of platformers. There's a pinball game, a tank game. This is a really good car. I really like this one. Um, there's a few games on here that I kind of think are a bit duds. Tracia isn't wasn't that great to be honest I, I didn't i wasn't feeling uh final zone too much or um uh Gaieras. but um yeah i'm definitely going to be digging uh much deeper into this cart and um especially arcus odyssey that one really tickled my fancy uh that one and arcus odyssey and uh, Granada, I think, were my favourites on this one. But yeah, this is uh, this is a really good car. Uh, definitely, definitely one to add to the collection. I'd say if you like weird and wonderful games and games that you might not have played before, I think with this one, a lot of these games are available on the original platforms, but like mega expensive if you want to. Whoops, get the like the originals because they're hard to come by and stuff and. This is an, a, a better way, a cheaper way of being able to play the games without having to shell out hundreds of dollars or pounds or whatever it is where you live. So, yeah, that's a good one. Um, also, big fan of the Gremlin one. Uh, loved uh, loved looking back down memory lane at Zool. Surprised by how cool uh, actual soccer was. And, uh, of course, I really liked Hardcore 4x4 as well. Utopia and Premier Manager are a bit too slow for me, but if you liked strategy sim games back in the day, they'll be there to keep you interested. Uh, Brain Bender, I'd say, is probably the weakest edition on the cart, but at the same time, it was quite cool seeing a Game Boy game on there. Um, I quite, I'd quite like to see, you know, um, maybe a Game Boy-style collection on uh, uh, being released on an Evercade, uh, Evercade cart or something like that. Maybe like a you know, mixture of random Game Boy, Game Boy Color games. There's been some Game Boy, there has been some Game Boy Advanced games on Evercades in the past. So obviously they wouldn't be able to call it a Game Boy collection because Nintendo would throw them into oblivion. But, you know, it could be a collection of games from a developer that just did Game Boy games. I don't know, I'm just... I'm just uh, chatting shit. Both, uh, eat, what I'm trying to say is both both have some that I love, some that I didn't love so much, but both I think would look great uh, in your collection. They definitely look good in my collection. It's bulging now. And um, 23 and 24 slotted in with all the others look cool. So yeah, thank you so much to everyone who has joined this stream and, let, and uh, watched me play through Evercade Carts 23 and 24. Um, I sh I'm hoping to be back streaming tomorrow. See um, how tired I'm feeling. Uh, if I am back tomorrow, it'll be Terraflops. Um, which, um, I don't know. I've got a lot. I've got a big selection again. So who knows? But there'll be definitely some Terraflops. Um... And there'll be the usual thing on Friday, Wednesday and Thursday. 
not sure. Did say I was going to do some Shadow Warrior uh, 3, some more of that. And um, there was something else, maybe one of these. I don't want to push myself and make myself ill again, so uh, I might not do a huge amount of streams this week. But I'll definitely do a Terraflops. If it's not tomorrow, I'll push it down later in the week. Uh, but keep an eye out on my Twitter for uh, all the updates on streams and videos here and on Eurogamer's YouTube channel. Do head over to Six Nation State dot com and have is it dot com or is it dot co dot uk now six nation state dot com and have a listen to the album the albums um, one song of which you will hear in a second and also if you fancy wearing a Higton's original quality jorts t-shirt like the one I've got here uh, do head on over to Insert Coin and buy one of them as well. And, uh, yeah. Evercade stuff, you can get it from Amazon online game stores or the, uh, the Evercade website. And, uh, I'm a big fan. So, thank you very much everybody for watching. Have a great rest of your night. Cheers, mods, for keeping everyone nice and safe. Thanks to everyone who's joined new and old. Uh, I will be back at some point this week. <laughs> Bye.